Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hall of Fame member Kevin Smith. Good evening. Oh, this is awesome. I, uh, I tell you what, the, the energy and the love that I get every time I come to Orlando uh, is the reason since 2005, uh, I've never not come to the city. <clears throat> Just like uh, Brandon said, uh, Christy also texted me too. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and by the time I'm done talking, you'll understand why this, why this place is so special. Okay? God has blessed us all to be here on earth as a reminder of life. So many lessons I've learned. I want to use this platform to acknowledge how appreciative I am of life and good health. UCF holds a very special place in my heart. Nothing compares to being inducted into the UCF Hall of Fame this evening. I appreciate, I appreciate everybody here. My life partner, my wife, Tisha Smith. Uh, I tell you, at this point in my life, uh, she's as tough as nails. I'm never home. We have six kids in the house, and she holds it together. She doesn't get time for herself. She doesn't do things that she wants to do. She put her life on hold for my career, and for that, I'm forever grateful. My kids, obviously you see this is three of the six. Uh, my family in general, my mother, my teammates. My, I tell you, this room with the guys who were in here is exactly what it looked like when I took my official visit at UCF. I saw Joe Burnett. I saw Brandon Marshall. I saw Mike Walker. I say Andre something. And I committed to UCF when I saw those guys. I appreciate everybody in the UCF community for sharing this moment with me. Tonight I want to talk less about my accomplishments and more about the people who have impacted my life and provided me with an opportunity to get my education and be the man who I am today. I was fortunate enough to receive a full scholarship from Coach O'Leary so I could further my, further my education after high school. Without that offer, my life would have been totally different. I'm very thankful for the man me and my teammates referred to as G-O-L. Coach saw something in me that I couldn't see in myself. He saw a leader, he saw a visionary, and he saw a future life coach. I spent, in, I spent many hours behind my teammates back in his office just wanting to simply talk. I say behind my teammates back because that was not the popular thing to do back then as a player, but I did it anyway. Coach was hard on us, hard, okay? But I love Coach for that because life is hard. Coach had us in meetings 15 minutes before the actual meeting time, or you were late. I love Coach for that because life is short and you better have a sense of urgency. Coach didn't allow us to put our names on the back of our jerseys or wear things that made us stick out as individuals. I love Coach for that because he helped me understand what the true definition of being a great teammate was. Coach George O'Leary, you impacted my life more than you will ever know. The moment you took a chance on a skinny free safety from South Florida who grew up in the streets. To all of my teammates, you made my college experience something I'll appreciate for the rest of my life. We won the school's first conference championship in 2007, and that was a hell of a year. The relationships, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the memories we will have for us for the rest of our lives. I hope each one of my teammates are living their best life. Unfortunately, we lost Breon Rogers and Chris Struthers. Those were our teammates and brothers. May their souls rest in peace.
I never dreamed of making it to the NFL or being a college coach. This was made possible because I was a student athlete at UCF 12 years ago. Never did I dream of coaching one of the best running backs in the history of college football, Devin Singletary. My first year as a coach in 2017, Singletary broke my single, my Conference USA single season touchdown record in 2007 that I set. I got to share that moment with Devin, all because I was a student athlete at UCF 12 years ago. It's been over a decade and I find myself watching old highlights on UCF. And the first thing I think is, wow, when I saw Brandon's like, this film looks so vintage. <laughs> but look how, past, look how packed the bounce house was every single game. This brought so many memories from the living in the towers when they were first built to going to the lake on campus on Sundays and watching Brandon Marshall do his cap of shimmy. <laughs> now I have the honor of being inducted to the Hall of Fame with Brandon Marshall and Coach O'Leary. My college experience was so great because of the people who had no clue who I was, but still donated to the program. People like Jerry Roth, Tony Nicholson, Dick Nunes, and Dave Alverson, just to name a few. UCF has taught me that life is bigger than myself, and serving others is what life is all about. I will continue to honor this UCF program and community by attacking my coaching profession just as I did as a player with hard work and dedication. Although 24K is one of the greatest running backs of the past, Kevin Smith will forever be a knight. To my mother, who is here tonight. This ain't your time, sit down. <laughs> to my mother, who is here tonight, who if anybody saw back then had her run on ESPN as the most popular UCF mom, Scott Van Pelt loved you. <laughs> Mama. Mama, you're the best teacher a son could ask for. I appreciate your sacrifice. I hope you find joy in knowing I've always lived my life wanting you to be a proud single black mother. Proud of being strong and fearless while raising three boys on your own. Mama, just know you gave me the tools and just enough resources to be successful. I thank you for giving me all you had. I want to close my remarks by just expressing how so many people I met during my UCF time helped shape my life. Mary, my trainer, I don't think you'll find another person who will love you like blood. When Mary took me in, her and my mother formed a bond because my mother now passed me to Mary and she took care of me like a son. Dr. Thad, Dr. Thad who was my equipment manager at the time. He was my big brother. That was the person who believed I was an elite player before the country got to witness it. Christy, my academic advisor, God bless you. <laughs> and Christy, I do, I, I, Christy, I agree. Your name should be on my degree with mine. <laughs> now that I'm a husband, and a father of six, I'm on to the next chapter of my life. My wife is now in charge. I'm lucky to have such a great foundation being built by UCF. I look forward to watching the UCF program grow and one day hope to be invited back to honor this generation of players, the McKenzie Miltons and the Shaquille Griffins of the program. as the UCF brand continues to produce as a powerhouse. And before I end it, uh, Dr. Hitt might not be here, but for me to have a, a close relationship with the president of the university meant a lot to me. Uh, like Brandon Marshall said, John, I thought you, you, you did a heck of a job, and I'm glad I'm here. This is a very important moment to me. Uh,
There's no energy like I get when I come to UCF. There's no energy like I get when I come to Orlando. It really does mean something when you say built by UCF. Joe Burnett, my roommate, I remember first getting to campus and the only thing we wanted to do, we said we just want to keep up with Brandon Marshall and Mike Walker. When we go on those tracks in the summer and those, those, the workouts are hard, I'm a freshman. I'm, I'm a butt so big. I say, hey, Joe, let's just me and you try to keep up with Brandon and Mike. And we end up being freshman All-American. There's no greater place than UCF. And although I'm a college coach at a different program, and I got to recruit against you guys, I'll forever be a knight. I'm so thankful for everybody here, and I love you all. Thank you.